Hello, and welcome to today's Code Block lesson. We are in number six, and today we'll be making hamburgers. So, did I spell that wrong? Hamburger. There you go. All right. We're actually, I'm making hamburgers. You're making something else. So, let's start off with the bun. Here it is. And I already know I need to rotate because I'm going to start from the bottom and make it go up. So, let's rotate. And I hope you've noticed that we actually, I'm going to change this to 180. We actually did not start with a red block. Whoa, look at those numbers. All right, let's see if this works. Let's rotate. And there you go. Yeah, first of all, not into the pink bun. So let me go ahead and change that. And probably want to adjust this. So let me hit the scale. And I want it to go... Let's see, let me look at this. X is this way, Y is that way. So I want to increase X and Y and maybe decrease. No, let's just keep the, the Z alone for right now. So let's change that. Let's see, let me look at above. I want it to be, let's say 30. Let's try 30. Uh, 30, oh, let me just try this right. Oh, I need to get rid of that. Great, kind of locks me in. In case you're wondering, I am using a new computer right now, so. 30 and here we go oh, no that doesn't work I have to select it then change that all right let's see if this works I don't know okay I'm like whoa whoa that is a scary hamburger although now I'm now I'm kind of hungry let's do that oh I forgot scale multiplies scale multiplies Oh, my bad. It should be like two or three, but I'm going to try this. Maybe it's not as scary. Still scary. Still scary. Kind of looks like a pizza at this point. Make that a three. There you go. And a three. All right. Very nice. Although it's still sticking out. Let's move that. Let's go ahead and move that up on the Z axis. And let's make that, I don't know. Looks like three to me, so three. Oh, sticking out at the bottom here. So let's just make it five. That's what I thought it was gonna be originally, but didn't wanna show off. I guess that's what I get. I should always be showing off. Wow, that looks perfect right there. Luckily, you're gonna be making something very similar for the food you'll be making. I'm not gonna tell you just yet, but I think you can figure it out. So there you go, there's that. Now, this bun needs the meat. So we're actually gonna do the same exact thing. Duplicate. Actually, no, do I want this? Actually, let me, let me do this, let me get rid of this one. For the meat, I'm gonna want a sphere just because it gives you the round edges and that's what I want. All right, there you go. Um, let's change the color to, I don't know, why isn't this showing the whole color? Anyone, anyone? Still not with the color thing. Let's run it, maybe running it will help. Oh, very nice. I think it's too thick, so I need to scale this to point. I don't know. Let's try point, point 0.2. Let's see if that works. That is kind of flat, but it also needs to go higher, so let's try 10. And the burger needs to be point. Let's try point 0.5. Again, sometimes you just play with this to make it look right. Okay, there's the bun, there's the blue burger, and uh, no, higher. Oh, higher, let's go, I don't know, let's go to 14. Let's see what happens. That's not bad, if it weren't blue, I think that'd be perfect. Shall we make it green? Let's make it one of these veggie burgers. I don't know why I can't change the color here. Let me try another one. Maybe another one will help me do that. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I don't want a green burger. I'm not sure what it says about who I am as a person. 
Okay, fine. Whatever. We're having a green burger. It'll go with the green eggs and ham. All right, so there, let's add a tomato, which I think is going to be a cylinder. And hopefully a red cylinder. Oh, my goodness. And what is this going to look like? We don't want this to be, you know, 10 high. Let's try five, I guess. Let's see. Oh, I forgot. I got to change this. Five. Now, you are making the bread. Then you're going to add a layer of sauce. And next, while I have a tomato, you're going to add a layer of... Now, mind you, I want the sauce to be red and the bread to be brown. I think you know where I'm going with this. All right, so let's get rid of that. There's my green veggie burger. What is that? Oh, I forgot to move it up. My bad. All right, let's move this thing up. Move, 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 move. Okay, so I want this to move in the x-axis. So far, we have already done 14. Let's try 20. Again, this is a guess, but let's find out. Wow, that tomato is really sticking up. Okay, so the height needs to be changed to, I don't know, five. Let's try that. Oh, I changed the radius before. My, my, do you guys see that right there? I changed the radius. That's why it's so small. Okay, weird. But I, I like it to be a bigger tomato. So let's just change that to there. And how are we with the height? I don't know. Let's change that to 22. All right, let's run it. my veggie burger, my tomato. Let's, by the way, can I see this tomato down here? No. Let's move the tomato to the side. Let's do that. Um, I need to move, right? Oh, so for me, I work better when I have it in the front. X and Y. Now, you're actually going to be, instead of a tomato here, you've got your bread, you've got your sauce. This is going to be cheese, which is going to be kind of easy for you guys since they're all very, very similar, very similar in size and shapes. Okay, where was I talking? Oh, yeah, I need to move this. So I need to move it, I don't know, let's say 20. Let's move it 20 in that direction. So 20, and let's see what happens. Mm-hmm, interesting. Whoa, that is a flying tomato. All right, too much, I think, too much. And at the same time, I think I need to change that to, let's go back to, sorry, I forgot I need to change it here. Let's go back to 20, and that should be good right there. Mm-hmm. Interesting. That tomato is not bad. I actually want it to move a little bit more. Let's go 18. I know. I'm kind of making this stuff up as I'm going along. Okay. Liking it so far. Did it move? Fine. All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to duplicate this one. Watch everything be duplicated. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. But let me get rid of everything else that's under there. Because my burger is going to be done. I'm already unhappy with this veggie burger. I'm going to order another one that isn't that bad. I don't need the rotate because I, I want this to be the top of the burger. But I do need to move it much higher. Let's go 30 and let's see what happens. All right. Reset. Run. Whoa, the floating burger. This is a diet burger. See how it's so light and fluffy? It's a diet burger. Okay, let's move that to 27. I hope that works. Nah, not happy with that. Let's just make it 23 and, and call it a day. No, 24, 24. Okay, so by now you see that you are gonna be making the bread the red sauce, the yellow cheese, and now at least five pepperonis because you're making, that's right, you're making a pizza. So here's my burger, not bad, kind of gross, but today you're not actually learning how to make a burger because burgers are super easy, but what you're going to do is you're going to create an object. So 
congrats, there you go, there's your object. And you're going to rename this variable to, no, cancel, cancel, uh, rename variable. We'll call it, since I already made one before, we'll call this one hamburger2. All right, so hamburger2. Now, what does this do? Absolutely nothing, except now that you are down here, you will see that you have my previous burger that I made on this page, but this is the one that you just made. See, hamburger two, you didn't make it. I make it. I made it. But now, since we introduced this brand new uh, block today, you're also going to be introduced to this one. See, now that you created this beautiful, okay, this ugly, nasty green burger, you are now going to be able to do this. Create a second one. Now, what I found out earlier, that if you run this right now, it'll create a burger, and then it'll create the same exact burger in the same exact location, so it looks like just one burger. So we need to move it a little bit, so let's move it, rotate. No, I want it to move, and I think uh, 70 should be fine for the size that we have right here. In the X directions, it'll be going this way. Let's see, let's run this thing. Oh, yeah, right here. So, yeah, got the bun. Got the nasty green veggie burger, the tomato, and there you go. Oh, a double burger. Look at that. We didn't have to do anything. Now, I'm going to make another one. I'm going to duplicate this. But you, I want you to make a total of four pizzas all together. Let's see what we have here. Each one should be the exact same copies. You're only making one, but then you're going to be making, you know, copies of that one. So let's see. Uh, oh, it went to the same location. My bad, my bad. So I'm going to change that to zero. And that one's going to go to 70 in the Y direction. So let me zoom out a little bit so I can see both of these things. Reset, run. Beautiful. Hey, it duplicated all of these. Look at that. All right, so again, you're making the thing I told you, at least five pepperonis, make sure, because I'll be counting. And um, when you share, make sure you put uh, on the subject of the email, uh, pizza is good. Pizza is good. And let's watch this run. Oh my goodness, a green burger. Where have I gone with my life? All right, have a good one.